So in the previous video, we have seen the solution of this problem by using the XOR. And I told you that it's the most efficient solution possible, most efficient because we discussed three solution. Number one is by brute force technique. The second one is by hash table or hash maps. And third one is by doing XOR of every element. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you the program, the C language program, uh, which will do an XOR of every element and it will show whether the any there exists any number which is occurring odd number of nine times or not. So this is the solution. Now let me show you how the solution is working. So program execution will start from the main function and initially we have this array and let us see the elements that are present inside this array are as follows which is 2, 3, 5, 4, 5, 2, 4, 3, 5, 2, 4, 4 and 2 and the index locations are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. The next is we are finding out the size of the array. So size of this array is uh, divided by size of the any index location 0. This is going to tell what is the total number of elements inside this array. We have already seen that in our programming videos how this uh, statement is working. So this gives us the size of the array as 13. Now we are calling this function which is the odd occurrence function from here. So control will pass from here and we are passing this reference to this array ARR and we are passing this number n which is the size of this array. So this reference is containing the uh, array address and the size will contain 13. Now we are maintaining a variable which is a result which is storing a value of 0. Now remember one thing as I told you that if you do a xor 0 or 0 xor a that will give you the number a itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take every number here and initially I'm going to start 0 xor 2. Whatever result I'm going to get I'm going to do the xor with the next number which is 0 xor 2 xor 3 and whatever result I'm going to get I'm going to do the xor with the next number. So as you can see with this loop from i is equal to 0 to i less than array size plus i plus plus we are taking a variable i from the first index location till the last index location and we are going to do result is equal to result this is the xor operation xor with that particular element so initially we are going to do 0 xor 2 then we are going to do the result with the xor with 3 then xor with 4 5 then xor with 4 and so on till the end and by the end if we get a result which is a non-zero result by performing the XOR of every one of them. So what we'll do is we'll do XOR of every single one of them like this. You can do this XOR like this. I'm just writing it one by one. So till the end like this and by the end if you get a result which is a non-zero result that means there exists a number, number which is occurring odd number of times and if the result is 0 that means the uh, number this there does not exist a number which is occurring even number of odd number of times and whatever the result will be we are sending the result to print here so this will print the number which is occurring odd number of times otherwise it will print 0 so this is a very very simple implementation for the solution of the above problem I hope uh, this video was very helpful for you uh, to understand how we can solve efficient problems. The most of the cases you are going to get problems which may be easier to solve but that will take more time complexity but the better way or the reason why they are asking you those problems or the, the reason why they are asking you those problems because they wanted a solution which should be time efficient as much as possible. Okay. Now let us look at the other solutions of the same problem um, which are time efficient manner. Okay.